not gonna happen as long as her dad is alive and breathing. Hi everyone, hope you're all doing good in this crazy time at the moment. It's actually starting to feel not so crazy. It's starting to become the norm, isn't it? It's starting to feel normal. I wanted to jump on because I don't like being off YouTube for a long period of time. I start to lose my mojo and lose my confidence behind the camera. I'm hoping I'm in focus. Well, hopefully I'm in focus. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to jump on, see how everyone is doing, and also ask you some questions as far as what what would you perhaps like to see. On my last video I did, I said I'd do some vlogs, how we're handling the lockdown. I haven't even managed to do any of that yet. I've been getting into a routine of getting up, getting dressed, getting breakfast, getting lunch, washing my face, doing my makeup getting the boys lunch. You don't really have time to film, so that's annoying, really annoying. I have done a few little Instagram things here and there. This is not gonna be a long video in itself. It's the Easter holidays at the moment, so work has took a little bit of a back seat for the kids. You will be able to hear the kids in the background. I apologize if um, it's annoying you. So yeah, this is, this is lockdown, lockdown life. I still make an effort with my makeup just because it also fills the day up as well. If it fills the day up, it makes me feel good that I'm still, you know, making an effort. As everything is shut down and closed, I've been doing my research and trying to find what I can use f to maintain my beauty regime, as you, if you want to call it that. My eyebrow lady usually tints and tweezes them and shapes them, so I'm no good at shaping my eyebrows. Um, I just keep trimming them. I keep trimming them with my little nail scissors and then I'm using this Just For Men beard dye to tint them. I got this from a tip from looking on YouTube and this is good, it's really, really good. You have to be careful. I haven't tinted them in the last week. It's been over a week now. So they're mainly just penciled in, it does fade. I had a few gray straggly brow hairs and I wanted to cover them up. I could not handle them. Even when I was doing them with pencil and brow powder it wasn't cutting it so I thought I need to, I need to actually tint them so I got this from Amazon it does the job really well and I got medium brown M35 so if you are looking to tint your own brows at home this is a really inexpensive way of doing it and it's it's good do a patch test if you need to before you want to try it but I I definitely recommend it it does last for like three or four weeks they claim but I would say it fades after a week or so not completely it's been more than a week actually. I'd say it's been about eight days. When I remove my pencil, I've only outlined them really um, lightly. I haven't like gone in hard, so my brows are quite naturally dark anyway. Have they recovered since I singed them with that stupid laminating at home perm thing? Not really, uh, they're almost back to normal, I'd say. Maybe 70% back to normal. I just keep trimming them and trimming them and putting conditioner in them, but they're still quite curly. They don't want to lay down flat. They don't feel as bad, they don't feel as rough. What else have I been doing? So really just pampering myself, really pampering myself. Haven't done a lot of cleaning, to be honest. I did a bare minimum to get by. This, I want to talk about this cream real quick. Ordered this to come to me from Ulta. This was the dupe I was telling you about for the Sol de Janeiro Bim Bim Cream. Um, when I asked on one of my old videos, nobody even responded to say yes, they'd heard of it, apart from one um, lady, and she hadn't heard of it. So this is it. This gigantic thing is like $27, and it's called the Cake Butter by Sugar Rush, or Sugar Rush Cake Butter, and I think the brand is from Tarte. I've been getting through it. I still use it every time I have a shower, and I love the texture of it. It's very lightweight, whipped consistency. It smells divine, it's gorgeous, and I would say it's not better than the Bim Bim Cream, but it's 70% as good, but the Bim Bim Cream is stronger, and I think the scent lasts longer than, than this does, um, although quite powerful. So to all people who don't like, who, who are not a fan of scents and strong smells, they, they probably won't like this, but for me, I just love my body to smell beautiful like like mm, mm, mm. And it's 27 dollars for this gigantic it's a beautiful lightweight and this melts into the skin really easily so i love it might as well put some on now it's huge and it's uh 10.58 ounces massive it's gonna last me probably another couple of months i'm not doing a favorites or anything like that i'm just 
talking to you guys what I've been up to, what I've been doing, what I've been trying out and mainly it's been like skincare and stuff so I'm on my second bottle of serum. The first one was the Hydrolon by Indeed Laboratories and um, I don't rate that. It didn't do anything for me, it didn't leave my skin feeling hydrated, didn't make any difference to the look of my skin so won't be buying that again. So now I'm on the Vici um, Lift lift active supreme this one is slightly better than the uh indeed laboratories one i don't i didn't keep the packaging i threw it away because i finished it don't like the applicator it's really awkward slips out of your hands when your hands are greasy from putting other products on you get a good amount of product in here you get um 50 ml had really good reviews i like the way this feels more better than the indeed laboratories one and it feels nicer on the skin can't really say you've noticed a difference in anything. As we're not getting as much daylight and sunlight as we normally do, but I don't think my skin's looking the best at the moment, even though I am trying my best to look after it. I purchased this Oil-A uh, Masks Glow Boost Mask. It's, a, it's their new clay um, formula ones. I have to say, it's a very, very convenient mask if you're all about quickness. I'm definitely enjoying using it. So basically it comes with um, a roll-on top which it has a protective get off cover on like so and it's just like a clay they have different cut colors which do different things or claims to do different and it, and it just rolls up and you just roll it onto your face leave it on for 10 minutes and wash it off i enjoyed it because it was a very nice experience using it it was so quick easy wasn't messy and it actually felt like a good formula of clay mask it didn't feel as harsh as others have felt on me and this was like nine pounds i think i got it on sale if you like a mask and you haven't tried this one yet just for the pure fact that it's so quick and easy to use i would definitely try it and then for a night cream i'm using my at the moment i'm using my ordinary retinol one percent in squalane i've been using this for about a year now and i am getting on with it i think it's made an improvement overall in, in my skin so didn't want to come on here and say after four weeks five weeks can't really see a difference but it's been a good year as far as the strength and the strength of this i'm not um, a pro when it comes to skincare or retinol but retinol one percent in squalane i'm guessing is more of a it's not as harsh as the one which is not in squalane that's what I've heard. I usually use this to start with and then go in with the um, Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Oil. Really enjoyed using it. I'm not sure if I'm going to repurchase it again because I just like to try new things. But it's almost at the end and I wanted to get a night cream. This is um, Super Facialist Vitamin C Brighten Sleep and Reveal Night Cream. Don't know. I've only started using it last week. Feels really nice, smells quite strong with the vitamin C in there. It's my first time using this brand, so I'm not sure if it's good or not. So I just thought I would try it for a nice night cream. I'll give you an update on that and let you know if it's making any difference whatsoever. Not that much to tell you really. As far as how we're all handling it, it's it's up and down. It's like some days we're fine, some days we're, it gets really repetitive. Um, my, I have four kids, two with autism, and there's one of them, I have a nine-year-old, he relies on structure, and um, for him to accept that we're at home on lockdown, and schools are closed, and he's relying on me to teach him, entertain him, he's doing really well, but he struggles. He works best when everything is planned for him, um, where my other one, who's a year younger, He's just happy to stay by himself and like not interact unless he's hungry or thirsty or wants something. Yeah, he's definitely more uh, self-sufficient when it comes to entertaining himself. And my daughter, well, you know, Jayla, uh, 17, not being able to see her boyfriend when I've heard a lot of people have actually moved the boyfriends in the house. Not going to happen as long as her dad is alive and breathing. That would never happen. I don't think I would allow that anyway, you know. If they've been together for a couple of years and maybe she was 18, I might do it. But on the lockdown situation, she she uh, has not been able to see him and she's been driving herself crazy. But again, she's like me. She's got good days and bad days. I'm actually happy. All my family are in the house. It's like so nice to have them all together. She's definitely been relying on her brother who's two years younger than her because she's quite a young 17 year old. So she's been 
really um, bonding with him again. She would never admit that, but they have been. I, I'm their mum and I, I can hear them bonding. They're arguing again about Fortnite. They're arguing about the Xbox. They are bonding again. So it's nice to hear them like, all in the house. It's nice to have them all around. Again, I apologise I've not been on YouTube. I don't feel, I don't really think I've got the time to film. I mean, I could, I could like try and put little snippets in of what we're doing, but you guys let me know. You guys be the judge. Do you want to see it? What do you want to see? Or do you want to see something else? I'm open to ideas. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. I can't wait for this whole thing to be over so we can get back to normality. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with another video.